It happened in Germany, in West Germany, a long time ago. I had been there in Bangalore 38 years ago, and I have seen the development of this country. And we are totally right. You have to find your Indian way. I discuss maybe with you a little bit about a project in Germany at my university. A university and a startup hub is not really very common. But looking to the United States, Silicon Valley, for example, what is the success? The success is they have cells around the university with startups, with new ideas. And often these are ideas very crazy. For example, this iPhone, for example, 15 years ago, it was a crazy idea. And I read in a newspaper in Germany 12 years ago, and you can read, it's not really necessary for people, it's for freaks. And nowadays, it's part of your body. And so, uh, supporting these crazy ideas, that's a mine, uh, that's the core idea at my university in this special center for innovation. Innovation normally is at the edges of a discipline. If you want to win a Nobel Prize, you should go very, very deep in an academic discipline, for example. But to have new innovation, you need the collaboration between idea, between electronic, and a lot of other disciplines. That means this center at my university is a meeting organization. You can meet other people. You can meet the students. You can meet professors. And you can meet representatives of companies to discuss about an idea. It could be a crazy idea, of course. And often, these crazy ideas have a great future. And there, at such a center, we support the young people, not only discussing the ideas, but giving them business plans, discussing about risk or financing, and so on. And then, step by step, it's a very, very tiny plant. We have seen it today in a presentation. Maybe this plant will be a, a big tree one day. Of course, it also can die. And maybe one, two, three percent of these ideas become really to a great idea and a great solution. And uh, in this center, we support, for example, design thinking. Design thinking means you don't think very linear, in a special way, in a discipline. You think a little bit about the other disciplines, how you can mix maybe engineering, business, and so on. A businessman nowadays should understand something about some technical stuff, and especially about ID. We live in a digital world, and this digital world gives you a, a huge chance, but it's also a challenge, and you managed it. In this industry, point, uh, 4.0, we also should discuss about employment 4.0. You mentioned it. We shouldn't uh, replace people. But on the other side, connecting machines, having all these status, what about the people? Especially in your country. You have a big treasure. These are the young peoples. It's different to my country. We had a lot of elder people and less younger people. In your country, you have to find good solutions, new jobs, and you can do this with startups, with a lot of new ideas in all the fields you have heard in all the presentations. Cross-innovation is another term in my country, at my university, and uh, there that also the mixture of disciplines. And of course, all my students, especially all the Indian students, are invited to share all these ideas. At my universities, we have around 100 Indian students. That means maybe 10% of the Indian students in Germany, because I also represent, you heard about it, uh, the Bavarian Indian Center. It's a center to exchange students, faculties, maybe sometimes uh, companies um, between Bavaria, Germany, and India. 
coming to India three, four times per year, discussing about different topics. And now, some ideas about this special center. And there, the support of one of my professors, for example, he's teaching entrepreneurship, is very, very important. And maybe you have an idea how to collaborate with an uh, Indian university to get the ideas there. They have maybe research centers, like at my university. We have three of them. And then in these projects with companies, because I represent the University of Applied Sciences, and we don't invent any kind of Nobel Prize uh, thinking or something like that, it's more or less uh, necessary for the companies. We know what they need. We know uh, the interests of our smaller, mid-sized companies and, of course, uh, the big ones. And so we can discuss about new solutions, to find new ways in all the different fields you heard about, pharmacy, uh, health care, and whatever. And so I think that could be a chance for you as well in your country. But you should find an Indian way, not the German way. You shouldn't copy what we are doing, but you can see a little bit what is happening there. See at our webpage, hofuniversity.de, and there you can see a little bit more about what we are doing in these different fields. And it depends on the ideas you have. And I repeat it. You should have maybe crazy ideas. It doesn't matter. And then step by step, maybe in the discussion with the companies, with the representatives here, you have excellent chances to see how are the risks and how are the chances for such an idea. And without this discussion, between disciplines, you have no chance. Without understanding a little bit more about the other discipline, it, wasn't, it wouldn't work. My elder son has a small company in the IT field. And once he asked me a law problem, I said, that's not really the problem. You should talk with your customer. You should learn to communicate with your customer. And you should find out what he needs. Think as a businessman, not thinking as an IT expert. Then you're going to have success. If you think as a lawyer, it's too late. You should start a little bit earlier.